Josie Mabanang Radio, welcome back to another week here on Opportune Time. We're here to motivate you, excite you, encourage you, and uh, just be with you during this lonely path of entrepreneurship. It feels so good, man, holding you down every Wednesday from 4 to 6. This week, we're not even in Mabanang, man. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, well, I mean, look, it's, it's, it's a global show. It's a global show, for to sure. To be fair, we've got, uh, we've got listeners in uh, Toronto, in D.C., sure. in New York, right. in Bulogwane, yeah, in Mabanang, and sure. in Newtown. Which in Newtown today, right? Live and direct, right Live out of direct, Newtown. Man. Green yeah. robot design. You know it, man. I'm Mushambi Mutuma, aka Mo, and I'm here with Ntato Malope, man. That's right. Two Dark Brothers Radio. You know it. <laughs> but we're at uh, Green Robot Design, as you said. Yep. Uh, a business owned by and run by a good friend of mine, a good friend of ours now. Yes, man, the homie. Um, and we're broadcasting live from here. And that's going to be like the flavor that we're kind of going for, right? Yeah, man. To go to the entrepreneurs, right? Yes. So whether it's like the spare bedroom, the cottage, <laughs> the, the garage. factory floor, the garage, yeah, yeah. we, we want to come to you, right? Yeah. And just kind of like profile your business, understand who you are a little bit more. And really, kind of like tell that story. Man. Yeah, man. I mean, we're changing um, it up, man. A couple yeah, of weeks in, yeah, yeah, that's right. And, and today is kind of the first taste of that, which yeah, is man. I'm I'm super excited. About. But we're with uh, Khumutsa Mautla. Um, I, I guess like in, in in the streets of Jersey, it's like a synonymous name. Like I said, he's a uh, Forbes 30 under 30. I feel like I need to like uh, get an autograph before I leave. You know, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, uh, you know exactly. He's famous, man. I didn't think we we're gonna get an interview with this guy. <laughs> for sure, for like, sure. Speak to my PA. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, uh, KG, man, tell us uh, the story behind Green Robot. Why? Why the name? What does Green Robot mean? You've been holding it down for a while. Yeah. Well, I'm Komoto Mauta. I'm um, a designer first and foremost, and I think an, an entrepreneur secondly. Born in. Johannesburg, uh, raised in Mfolo. Uh, yep, that's and, right. <laughs> and in that's Alexandra, I think that's where I spent most of my yeah. my childhood. Went to school to, at Vega, um, dropped out of school. You dropped out of <laughs> Vega, eh? Yeah. Mm, went to another college, dropped out again <laughs> at another college. Mm-hmm. Um, and I guess after that, realized that school isn't actually for me. Right. Uh, and then sort of started something with a friend of mine, which is what we have now, which is Green Robot Design. The short part of the story is that we were trying to come up with a couple of names to, to, to name our new company. I think we went to over like 30 names. Right. And it hit us when we were in a taxi and we were at a robot and the robot turned green. <laughs> and yes. we were like, yeah, well, that could work. <laughs> and okay. then, yeah, that's how the, the name came about. So. Yeah. And I guess it's worked ever since, you know, it's, it's green, green robot, green for gold. Right, right, you know, right. No red robot. <laughs> right, <laughs> yeah. right, right. Why are you guys doing what you do, right? Like, I, and I know you, I know you, you sweat, you're up to crazy <laughs> hours. Yeah. Uh, we used to have like phone calls like 10, 11 o'clock at night <laughs> yeah. and stuff like that, you know. So why are you doing this, man? Yeah. First, it's, it's for the love of it. You mm-hmm. know, um, when you get to the office, there's always a blank canvas. Right. And that's for you to sort of make a piece of art out of, you know. And then secondly, it's about actually building something that you can, in 20 years' time, look back to and say, well, this is something I've built from scratch. But what's so special about Green Robot, man? Look, I think in the beginning, there was, there was a big... Um, ethos and the methodology about how we used to create the work and especially when I was still sort of doing the work by myself and which was the turnaround time right. like we had insane turnaround time and I guess it was just me back then so mm. I didn't have to push someone until four o'clock in the morning so I could push myself until four o'clock in right. the morning right. Right. so I think from there that being the old sort of um, ethos or what we, we did the best or our USP mm. I think now it's more about the people without its people and, and, and the guys behind me we don't have what we have as a company so, so how do you guys then go to market for the most part that the company has been alive we've, we've been able to survive off of sort of um, a word of mouth mm-hmm. referral mm. I think now it's, it's about selling what we've done to the people that mm. we need to get to, we will go to a client and say, well, look, this is the problem that we solve for ABC. And this right. is how we can, I guess, <laughs> add value to, to you. your organization. Yeah. You know what I mean? So either selling through the portfolio, through the website, through the blog, right. and getting people to see what we've done for other people. We've been in the entertainment and music industry for a long time. Right. right. You know, and I was about to say, yeah, yeah, correct. Our, yeah. You know, and even our portfolio, which we're updated now, people are like, well... Mm-hmm. This is not a party, it's not a club. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right, 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 you know right. what I mean? The exciting part is that we're trying to rebrand. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. I think we're moving, not necessarily moving away from what Green Robot is, yeah. um, but just rethinking how we do some of our stuff and even 
almost our name so it's not going to be called green robot design anymore it's just mm. going to be called grd mm. you know and this is us bringing in the digital element so um the joke that i have for the guys in the office is that <laughs> we've got the d <laughs> so the design, <laughs> the design is for design digital and development you're yeah. hitting them with the d yeah, yeah? i'm gonna give everyone the d i <laughs> know uh, please <laughs> the strong <laughs> d <laughs> whoever wants it <laughs> that strong d that strong, strong, strong yeah. black d <laughs> oh Holmes, okay All right. look you know first of all we're really excited that uh, we were able to come through to uh, to, to grd yeah. and hang out with uh, uh, an, a special and amazing homie who's out here doing his work. I mean, I know personally, uh, have been taking calls from him at like 11, 12 at night, exchanging emails up at 2, two 3 in the morning. So I know how hard he's worked for his dream, yeah? to build to build this business, to have a fantastic team sort of around him, um, and, and to grow, right? Which is kind of the theme for, for, for the show. What were some of the other milestones that have kind of kind of good and bad, uh, designed and not designed and unintended, right? That have um, kind of made you, uh, gotten you to this point, I guess. Uh, the, yeah, the press, The press has been right. Um, yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you've been getting some love, <laughs> which is nice. <laughs> which Come is on, nice. man. <laughs> yeah. That's why the press has been okay. <laughs> I'm Mail and Guardian, top 200, <laughs> exactly. Forbes 30, under 30. <laughs> getting it out there, you. I've got um, my pen. Well, in fact, I lost my pen, but I'm getting an autograph before I leave you, man. The, yeah, the press has been okay because it's it's highlighted the good stuff that we're doing, for sure. which right. is good, you know. And I get it's good for for team morale, um, and I guess for for all of us to know that we are actually doing some really good stuff. Yeah. And um, I guess all the downs, eh? Um, if you don't learn from all those downs that one has had, like yo. Like, I've been broke, you yeah. know, I've hit rock bottom. <laughs> so earlier on this year, I sort of had a, a panic attack, mental breakdown. Oh, really? Was in, yeah, I was in the hospital for a bit. Holy hell, um, dude. But for me, it was it was a defining point. And I think at that time, um, it, was, it was more about how do you recover from that? How do you come back from that? And how do you come back bigger and better, mm. you know? Uh, so for me, it was, a really, it was really a learning curve. And I was glad, and I always say this, and I'm saying this to my business coaches, that I'm glad that it hit me before I hit 30. Yeah. So the yeah. next 30 years, I yeah. can restructure how I live, how I think, I how you. I... Yeah, how, yeah. You how you take care of you, right? how you know as opposed to just taking care of business. What's imp- most important for you during this transition period, right, of moving into a digital agency to, like, making sure you guys become great and mm-hmm. when you become a memorable legacy for your kids and, and for so forth? I think for us is to keep keep in touch with what made us, I guess, good mm. in, in, the, in first the first place, place right? Right. Um, to constantly be creative, to come up with new ideas, yeah. um, uh, to be, I guess, client friendly. Um, what is your take on kind of what's happening? So, you know, what what do you think kind of 2015 again sort of looks like for, for the creative sort of sector? There's a lot that's changed since last year. Um, right. I just, from the design industry as a whole, and I've been fortunate enough to meet a lot of people between now and then and I'm not sure if people have just sort of stood up or people are like oh it's what <laughs> gravitate towards us too but right. I'm trying to meet a lot of guys a lot of well, not weirdly enough but a, a lot of women who are now starting to get into design whether they've mm-hmm. got communication Wonderful. agencies and uh, PR agencies like ones that's going to own PR agency and so right. forth right. Um, we need to form a sense of collaboration so we can all stand up you right, know, and you can say, okay, we're all doing this, which is a good thing, you know. They right. not take that away from the guys who sort of just registered their companies and so forth. But as a design, and I guess people of color, um, we yeah. need to come together, right? You know, we need to start collaborating, we need to start working right. together to start creating better product. What would you tell yourself, your 20 year old self, right? <laughs> 10 years back, dropping out of school, <laughs> <laughs> multiple schools, right? Uh, what would you tell yourself about business and about this entrepreneurial journey and where you've been this last 10 years? Don't give up. Mm. Um, tenacity, you know what I mean? Like, if if you've got the vision, you, maybe at the time you don't know the know-how. Um, there's a million things that I don't know, that I didn't know then that I know now. And yeah. I guess there's a million things that I don't know now that I'll know in 10 years' time. And the hard work ethic, you know, like... Um, I've got a couple of guys who I started working with back then in terms of clients mm-hmm. who still 
ask me, are you going to be up at three o'clock working? You know, and I'm like, well, <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> it's, it's, not like that, yeah, it's not like that anymore. This interview is a perfect example of what we're trying to do with Opportune Time yeah. and, and, and as a business as Kairos. We, we love featuring small entrepreneurs or entrepreneurs that not, not, not everybody necessarily knows about, but are doing amazing things, leading amazing teams and creating amazing experiences. So I think for us, this is the cream and the crop of why we wake up every day, um, is to feature and work with guys like this and, and to uh, see them doing great things. Yep. The name of the show is The Opportune Time. Yeah. Uh, the name of our business is Kairos, which means The Opportune Time. Uh, we're all about that. Uh, what does is, what is The Opportune Time mean for you? Taking, taking what you have now and almost working with what you have now. So between now and well, 22 and now, so much has happened. Right. And even then, not realizing that maybe all those were the opportune moments for me to do the things that I've done that have been mm, right, 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 right. You know what I mean? And for me right now, it's the opportune time is for me to to do what I can now for the betterment of either myself or the business um, and whatever vision that I have now. So, so check it out, uh, www.josiemabunengradio.co.za. Every Wednesday, 4 to 6, is a live show like we had today. And every Friday from 10 to 12 uh, a.m., uh, that's a rebroadcast. Uh, looking forward to it, man. Tune in. Hashtag be about it. That's right. Opportune time, baby. We out. Yeah.